Welcome to Life Journey. Was Jesus a Baptist? Was Jesus a Pentecostal? Was Jesus a Seventh day Adventist? Was Jesus Jehovah Witness? Was Jesus Kojic? Was Jesus a Catholic? Was Jesus a Lutheran? Was Jesus a Methodist? And the reason why I'm saying all these denominations is that it doesn't matter what kind of denomination you are. What matter is, are you born again? Hear me, hear me up now. The reason why I say it was Jesus, all these denominations, because we get hung up. Hear me out now. We get hung up in a denomination, which is division and separation. Hey, glory to God. We living in a time where Christendom is being measured by what faith you are. Now, let me scratch faith what denomination you are. If you are a Protestant, if you are a Lutheran, my question to you is, find me in the Bible that Peter, Paul, John the Baptist, and John, the one that wrote John, first and second, third John, and Revelation was in denomination we as being people of God we come up with these ideologically denominationally theories about God and we trying to put strain on people of saying you gotta be a Baptist you gotta be Pentecostal you gotta be apostolic you got to be all of these denomination, and guess what? You're going to miss God because Jesus Christ, that's why Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ. Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ because Nicodemus trying to figure out, hey, glory to God. Nicodemus started off by saying, we know that thou teacher come from God. Can no man can do this miracle that thou doest except God be with him. And Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I said to thee, he said, truly, truly, I said, except a man be born again, he can't see the kingdom of God. So Nicodemus was trying to be secret about his glory to God encounter with Jesus. And I'm telling you all, if you don't understand something, we ought to go to Jesus, stop going to man. Because man might give the wrong answer. But all answer is in the Bible. It's in the canon. They ain't nothing new on the sun. We're going to miss God. I'm going to tell you why we're going to miss God. We're going to miss God because we listen to man rather than listen to God. So Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ by night. And Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, Nicodemus, the only way you're going to see God, hey, glory to God, the only way you're going to see God is that you got to be born again. Hey, glory. But Nicodemus say, Nicodemus like, a lot of you all wondering, is there stipulation of being born again? I'm born again because I'm Baptist. I'm born again because I'm Catholic. I'm born again because I'm coaching. Church of God in Christ. I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss God. I'm going to make it God because I'm Pentecostal. You're putting strain on man and put a strain on woman. But Jesus Christ, Nicodemus said, can a man be born again when he's old? Shall he enter the second time in his mother womb and be born? But Jesus Christ told him specifically, look here, Nicodemus. Hallelujah. Verily, verily, I say to thee, except a man be born of the water, and born of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of god so i'm telling people that's watching this video 
Listen to the stipulation. The stipulation is, glory to God, Nicodemus trying to say that, you, do you have to go back into your mother's womb to be born again? Jesus Christ said, no, Nicodemus. Number one, you're too old. Number two, you're too big. You must be born of the water baptism. You can't skip that. Sorry, you can't skip that. You can't be like the man on the, on the cross say, Jesus, today thou shalt be with paradise. Remember me when you go into your kingdom. You're not the man or a thief. There's water baptism. There's water. There's a pool. Glory to God. There's a pool that you can get baptized into. Yes. There's a pool you get baptized into. So a lot of y'all, y'all think it's denomination. You ain't gotta, you ain't, it's not in denomination. Stop being duped. Stop being bamboozled. Saying that you're going you gonna to get baptized, glory to God, into denomination no you must get baptized in the wonderful name of jesus christ because we think that we got to be in denomination yes we think we're going to be in denomination glory to god to get baptized but no he said you must baptize in water and be baptized hey glory to god in the spirit so then nicodemus go further and Jesus went further too. And tell him, look here now. It's not denomination. It's not because you are Kojic, because you are Baptist, you are all these things. No, those are stipulation that, that was made by man. Division is made by man and was not made by God. And we as being people, we gotta be very careful about missing and make it to heaven. Denomination don't save you. I don't care if you are good Baptist, you are good Pentecostal, you are good apostolic. All those things will not save you. What save you is the Holy Spirit. Our glory to God. And we're gonna miss it, my friend. We're gonna miss the divine instruction divine revelation which is the bible is not in man and it's not in women i don't care if you're a baptist i don't care if you're pentecostal i don't care if you're kojic i don't care if you're lutheran i don't care if you're scientology i don't care if you're seven day adventist my friend what gonna make it to heaven you gotta be born again they go to god so nicodemus glory to god was intrigued by Jesus' answer. Jesus Christ told him specifically, straight up, you must be born again. Yes, you must. It's a command that you must be born again. If you're not born again, you're gonna miss heaven. Hey, go to God. You'll be born of the water and born of the spirit. Hey, go to God, amen. So denomination does not save you. Yes, well, I say denomination does not save you. You can be the greatest, the, the greatest person, hallelujah, greatest Lutheran, greatest Catholic, greatest Pentecostal, greatest apostolic, hallelujah. Those things would not, would not save you at all. So listen to me and listen to me very carefully. If you ain't a save according to the biblical standard of God, and you listen to man, and it comes, ain't nothing new in the sun. Let me say it again. There ain't nothing new under the sun. You must be born again. I go to God, and some of y'all gonna miss heaven and go straight to hell because you listen to you listen to man rather than listen to the scripture. There ain't nothing new in the sun. If you got the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost be your teacher. Let the Holy Ghost be your anointing. Let the Holy Ghost show you things that's in the Bible. Anything that come out of the Bible is not of God. The canon don't give you no new revelation. It's not a private interpretation of the Bible. And a lot of you are going to miss heaven and miss the new earth because you listen to man. And you, you listen to man because you got a doctor degree. You miss the woman because she got a doctor, she DDs. No, DDs don't mean nothing. 
Well, I say, deep deeds does not mean nothing with God. God's spirit give you the revelation. And the revelation is not new. Yes, the revelation is not new. You can't say that God tells you and you, I can't find it in the Bible. They nothing new under the sun. It's in the 66 books of the Bible. They nothing new. They nothing new. Come on, excuse me. Hallelujah. You get married again because God tells you. And if you're not in the scope of interpretation, you get married because your flesh till you get married. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. You telling people the only way they can tell they are saved, they are speaking tongues? Show me the Bible. That tongue is a sign to be saved. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. So I'm, what I'm saying to you, my friend, the reason why I'm, I'm bringing this, this, this message because people are going to miss heaven because you listen to man and not listen to God. The Bible says, let God be true and every man, including woman, be a liar. If God said it, it settled it. Hey, glory to God. I know, let me go, let me go back to tongues. I know some of y'all are going to write me and tell me that, yes, Cornelius, they, they spoke in tongues. Hey, glory to God. But they don't stick with tongues. They were saved because the Holy Ghost fell on them. How oh, glory to God. And you can receive the Holy Ghost without getting baptized in Jesus' name. But it tells you also to get baptized in Jesus' name. Hey, glory to God. And be baptized in water to receive the Holy Ghost. So you ain't got to be a Baptist. You ain't got to be a Pentecostal. You ain't got to be apostolic. You ain't got to be coaching. You ain't got to be Lutheran. You ain't got to be Methodist. You ain't got to be all those things to get saved by Jesus Christ. We put net on the men, heavy burden on men. And the Bible says you don't even go into yourself. It's time to hear God's word and leave man's word out of this scope of the scripture. They know improper interpretation. They know new thing under the sun. What I say? They know nothing new under the sun. You say you got a new revelation. Is the revelation is of God? Because there's no private interpretation. There's no private interpretation. It was not done in a corner. If you say that God give it to you, that means that God don't give us no new revelation. The deep things of God, deep things of God is not deep because the Holy Ghost, that won't give you nothing new. Hey, glory to God. Help me, Holy Ghost. So people that's Went to, went to the seminary. Half of those people that's in the seminary, they not saved. They got book knowledge. Don't have the Holy Ghost. They got the ghost. And they ain't holy. I'm not, I'm not battling you or, or telling you that, that to go without to school. But listen, my friend, you ain't got to go to school to be a preacher. Let me say again. You ain't got to go to school to be a preacher. If God, if God calls you, God prepare you. I say God prepared you. Moses was being prepared before he led the children of Israel to the promised land. And he didn't go to the promised land because he smite the rock and God said you're going to see the land, but you're not going to enter into the land. They knew, there's no new prophet to interpretation. Hey, hey, listen now. There ain't nothing new under the sun. There's no private interpretation of the scripture the canon don't have nothing new hallelujah you can't say it. it's new no it's not they ain't about saying they, they nothing new on the side everything that's been written is written for our learning and they nothing new under the sun nothing new excuse me you're going to be a Pentecostal, apostolic, coaching, seven-day Adventist. All of these denominations was made by man. Jesus was not a Baptist. Jesus was not a Lutheran. He was not a Methodist. All those are man-made denominational. God, glory to God. Hear me out now. People are going to miss heaven because of you listen to man rather than listen to God. 
God is not a man that he should lie. No, self man that he repent what God said. It matters. A glory to God. Hallelujah. And it's saddened the people get into the denomination and looking bitter. That's why Paul said Christ is not divided. Yes, Christ is not divided. We are divided. Division. Why there's so many why there's so many churches with different doctrine? If we preach to one God, one faith, and one baptism, why there's only one Bible and they have a new go to God versions, and then when the version comes, they divisions. The vision of the flesh. Let me say that again, man. The vision is of the flesh. I I read only go to God. King James Version only. Yes, King James Version is the only version because I'm depending on God. I'm depending on the Holy Spirit to give me, glory to God, the, under, the, 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 the interpretation. Hear me? And it's sad. You depending on somebody to give you interpretation. Let the Holy Ghost through the scripture give you the interpretation and the revelation. Because the revelation is not done in the corner. It's not a secret thing, my friend. Because the secret thing belongs to God. But they that re 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 reveal unto you the Holy Spirit give it to you. But the Holy Spirit don't come out the canyon. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Amen. You may say you are Baptist, but you are Holy Baptist. Jesus Christ was not a Baptist. There's John the Baptist, but John the Baptist was not, was no, there, there was no division. There was no denomination. And we as being people of God, we got to be careful how we fall into division and then we end up in the ditch. Then we end up with the devil. We end up, my friend, in places where we can't get out. Hallelujah. Is Christ divided? No, Christ was not divided. Men divides because men come with theories. Men come with theology. Men come with, with exegesis, exegete the scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know the Bible, the glory to God, is in Hebrews and Greek, my friend. Hallelujah. But give me the King James Version Because the King James Version I will not go wrong Listening to the King James Version And the Holy Spirit will give me The interpretation Because the Holy Spirit It gives you deep things of God Because it's spiritual We depend on too much on flesh There ain't no good thing that dwell on the flesh Get out the flesh And get in the spirit The spiritual man Hear the thing of the spirit and a carnal man cannot understand the thing of the spirit because it's spiritual discern. And we gotta get into the spirit man to understand the revelation from God. Man is flesh and the spirit of God is, is spiritual. That's why we gotta fast. That's why we gotta pray. Amen. We got to stay before God's presence because the devil don't want you to hear God. He wants you to hear flesh. He wants you to hear excuses. He wants you to hear that you are human. That's why God gave us the Holy Spirit. He gives us the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us into all truth. Glory to God. We got to get the flesh. Denomination is flesh. Because Jesus Christ Paul, Peter, all the apostles, they were not denomination. They were preaching the gospel. They were preaching the good news. They were preaching the spirit and, and put the flesh on the subject. That's why Paul said, Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of this death? He said, Woe to me if I preach not the gospel. Hey, go to God. So my message was, was Jesus into denomination. Yes, was Jesus Christ into denomination. We gotta be very careful. We're gonna miss God because we're into denomination, we're into doctrine, go to God, we're into creed and theories, and we're into philosophies rather than being a scripture. We're gonna miss God. Go to God. We're gonna miss God.
Because Paul had to tell him then, go to God. No, Christ, Christ doesn't call you go to God for new Sabbath or new moon or holiday. Those things are of the shadows. But Christ come to fulfill the law. He didn't come to destroy the law. He come to fulfill the law. If we are in the spirit of God, we don't follow the law. Because glory to God, once we have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes with glory to God, not fruit that cover glory to God, this, the, the, the law. Against such there is no law. So we as being people of God, we got to be in the Spirit. And the Spirit fight against the flesh and the flesh against the Spirit. These are contrary one toward another. But I'm telling you, was Jesus Christ in the denomination? No, Jesus Christ was not in the denomination. Men is in the into denomination. We can be very careful as being people of God. We list the man, we list the bishops, we list the apostles, and we don't listen to the apostle of our faith. Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. If the apostle ain't preaching things that's in the Bible, line upon line, precept upon precept, here's a little, there's a little, and if you come with a new doctrine, and if it's not of the Bible, don't accept it. Because Paul say, if you preach another gospel than which we have received, as angel from heaven, let them be a curse. That's in Galatians chapter 1, hallelujah, 6, 7, and 8. If anybody say creature from heaven preach another gospel unto you, which I have not preached, that come from God, let them be a curse. That's why I understand. Let me say this on my closing. That Michael the archangel was not Jesus. The angel of the Lord was a thing not for, for, uh, uh, for Napony. Amen. A phenophony. Amen. The angel Lord. The angel Lord was not Daniel. Amen. The, a theophany is not Daniel. The theophany is a pre a pre-existent Christ. Amen. Daniel, glory to God, was not Jesus. And Jesus was not Daniel. And we we getting so much in the, into our theology, we start saying that that is Daniel, but it's a lie for the pits of hell. There ain't no way that Daniel, glory to the fighting angel, glory to God, is Jesus. And we gotta, we gotta be very careful how we're putting things in the Bible which is not in the Bible. My friend, if you go to seminary and seminary teaches doctrine, don't believe that. The Bible said, let them be a curse. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to my video. God bless. Peace.